Hello, West, Western Michigan. Welcome to Grand, Media, Grand Tab Media. My name is Pamela Kime. You are recording in the city of Granville, soon to be home of the Grand Castle. This is Will Elements. And we're with Kevin Myers from the Visit Family Y. So, Grand Tap Media, this is our second show. We're very excited to bring you guys uh, this new company. We're starting up a media company where we want to help connect and inspire thriving communities. And so, Pamela actually started it up a couple weeks ago. And so, we're very excited to have Kevin Myers from the Granville Visitor Y as uh, one of our first hosts. So, welcome. Thank you so much for having me. Appreciate it. All right. So, um, this is going to be kind of a grab and go. You're going to be able to get through maybe a cup of coffee. Or maybe watch this over over a, um, a lunch out lunch half hour maybe, and that's why we want to keep this within 20 minutes. Is that yep. correct? Yep. So it's a work in progress, but we thank you for being here. This is our like he said, this is our second show, and we're so happy that Kevin has graciously come because we have a lot of exciting things happening at the YMCA. So we don't want to um, miss anything. So I'm going to start to begin. Okay. Let's do it. All right. I got to put my glasses on for a second here. All right now, Kevin. I want you to tell me, I'm dying to know how you got involved with the YMCA because not everybody, there's a lot of nonprofits out here. It's Western Michigan, but why did you choose the YMCA? Yeah, so it's actually a, an interesting story. My brother was working for one of our older facilities here in Grand Rapids that actually doesn't exist anymore, the West YMCA over that was off of Leonard Street. Okay. Um, and he called me up one night and said, hey, we're looking for somebody to run the rock wall. I was in high school and I needed a job, so. <laughs> That's where I kind of got my start with the YMCA, and uh, kind of an interesting way to get started. The rock wall, not a lot of people think about that part of the YMCA. They think of the health and wellness part of it from fitness and sports, those types of activities. But that's where I got started and kind of kind of planted that seed of, well, this could be a potential career for me eventually. So, yeah, it's well, kind of an interesting Well, great, because really we've known each other, I don't know, it's been going on, what, two years? Yeah. Because I've been part of the YMCA, I've lived in the city of Granville, I raised my children, uh, and they all went to the YMCA, and you know there's a great story with that one, and we can share that um, further down the road. But just being even part of the board, and that's why I wanted you to have here, Dave, because I think a lot of people don't really know what the YMCA does. They may drive by it, but um, let, me, let me have you kind of share. If sure. I was driving by the YMCA, what would you want them to know about the YMCA? Yeah, yeah, no, that's great. Well, the great thing about the YMCA is in every one of our communities, they look a little bit different. Mm -hmm. So with our YMCA and the Visser, Visser uh, Family YMCA in our community here, it's a little bit different from some of the other Ys. The things that we really are focused on right now are um, helping kids be successful more than anything. So we want to make sure that they've got those opportunities to be um, safe, have fun, learn new things, and uh, just have a thriving I mean, uh, life as well, more than anything. So we do some after school programming to help middle school kids. It's called our after school impact program. With that program, what we're really trying to do is make sure that these kids have a safe environment to go to. We've got some great mentors who are helping these kids towards those other paths in life and where they want to go and making sure that they're going to have um, everything for them to be successful more than anything. So we're actually kind of piling in a program off of that called the Achiever Program. With that, we're really looking at. Uh, now that's kind of new, right? It is. And I and I'm really excited about that one because I when I before right when before I got on the board, when I started Kind Concept, I was talking about how important it was to get a mentor, kind of mentorship program going on, and you kind of agreed. Absolutely. And then um, didn't really fit with what I was doing with Kind Concept didn't fit yet, and so when you guys came up with this idea, I was just like, perfect. We'll just I'm going to support that. Absolutely. And how long has that been in existence now, this Achievers Program, the so, mentor? So the, the Achievers Program is actually a national program across the YMCA movement, um, across the country. <clears throat> but we actually have been uh, hosting that program for the past six months. So okay. we've it's very new for us, but we're seeing a lot of success. We're actually working with our after-school kids um, in the middle school age group. But we also have some high school kids in the program as well, too, which is kind of a great thing to see. Uh, but really focusing on career readiness, mm -hmm. potential colleges, um, getting these kids on some campuses so they can see what the college experience is like, um, but also working with some of the local businesses around to see if there's opportunities um, for career growth as well. After wow. School. Now, crazy. how do you, when, okay, so this has been already implemented, as I know, being a board member, but who, how does one get involved, or 
like where do you get your volunteers? I mean, where are you getting your mentors from? How does that process work? So that's the key piece we are looking for. We are looking for volunteers and we're looking for mentors to help these kids because you know, every day when these kids come home, they've got their parents there to support them, but it's always great to hear those second voices and those third voices of what can they do to, to learn little different things about their lives as well, too, and where they can potentially grow towards as well. So um, I know, I'm sure each of you have had some good mentors in your yeah, life as well I, to, to, yeah. to help guide you on that, that path of life and making sure that you're yeah. going where you want to go as well, too, and um, just giving you that extra support. It's a great thing. It's a very important thing to have success. Very cool, very cool. So oh. what are other ways that the YMCA is different than other organizations? Yeah, really. uh, yeah, so I know a lot of people think of the gym and swim portion of it. Yeah. You can come swimming in our pools. We've got um, our fitness centers that you can come and work out, and that's what we've been known for probably for the past 30 years. But the YMCA, rock climbing walls, right? The rock climbing walls as well. <laughs> absolutely getting known for that a little bit more. Mm -hmm. uh, but yeah, we've actually, uh, it's, some of the interesting things are um, child care. Sure. Not a lot of people know we have child care centers. No, I didn't know you had child care either. When we talk about the board meeting and you're like, it's free, I'm like, it is? Yeah. You yeah, know, yeah. I didn't even so know that. So you've got that, that kid's zone component where they right. can come and drop off while you're working out. But we also have all day care where you can drop off at the YMCA um, and actually go. And we have that at some of our sites throughout the community. We don't quite have it at the Visser Family YMCA yet. That's one thing we're looking to potentially expand. But we do have that at some of our other sites throughout the community. Well, here, here's somebody that used to be dropped off at the YMCA. Yeah, is that right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Two thousand and five, probably. Okay. Yeah. Thirteen well, years that ago. branch was just getting started. Yeah. That's yeah. great. Yeah. Yeah. Right. We yeah. passed you when I was there. Oh, that's so mm -hmm. funny. When Will told me that, I'm like, really? Yeah. You know. So his mom was a uh, you know with three four brothers, yeah. and then she would have to wait for her to wait, get done working out, and then you got to go swimming. Right. Now we would go in the pool every day after school in the pool. <laughs> so you probably still remember some of our staff that were there in two thousand five yeah. are still working Travis. in that space. So yeah, yeah. Travis Rome, yeah. 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 Oh, yeah, great guy. Cool. Yeah, <laughs> absolutely. So um, what would be one thing you would share that other people would be surprised about the YMCA that they don't know, um, other than like the kids zone and this new mentorship program? Is there anything else that you think people would be surprised about? Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. No, that's a great question. So some of the things that we really try to focus on, you know, you, we talk about the physical component from health and wellness. We're really starting to dive in a little bit farther from the nutritional science standpoint. So we do have a nutritious, nutritionist on site as well. So you can schedule times to meet with that individual because we're really trying to get the full component of actually working out, but eating right as well too and making sure that people are, are getting those healthy lifestyle choices made as well and uh, helping guide them on that more than anything. So we actually have a, a kitchen that we have at our downtown YMCA that yep. provides meals yep. for these kids at the after school programs. Um, and we get funding to help support those programs so that we can make sure these kids are getting good, nutritious meals every day. They're getting their homework done every day. And that's good relationships we've had with the uh, um, Granville, Jenison, and Hudsonville Public Schools to make wow. sure that that's happening. Um, and, and really making sure that these kids are having that, that uh, fun time at the Y, but also they can go home and have family time after they're done. Yeah. Now with that, with the impact program, I'm on the committee of that, and that's just the junior high, that most difficult I think time where you know everything's changing in a, in a young person's life, right? They're kind of awkward, and they you know they're waiting for that transition when they jump into the high school. And I remember that. That's a, that's a tough age. But how do you? What has it been in place if the YMCA is even able to do that once they get through that into like the the ninth grade level, yeah. the tenth yep. grade? I know yep. the Achievers Program. Are you moving them towards that, or how, what are you guys yep. thinking? Yep, the Achievers Program is really designed for the the high school students as well. It's not just a middle school program, so really helping get <clears throat> more kids involved in that part of the program. The the exciting thing about that is we are starting to see more programs get involved with this. So the uh, um, Pathways program, which is Granville's alternative ed program, they actually do the program at the YMCA and they're part of the Achievers program. So we're really trying to help those students get a good next look at life as well to beyond high school. It's a great thing. That's now, have you awesome. ever thought about, um, do you get United Way funding? We actually used to get quite a bit United Way funding and then things have changed over the years, but we're always interested to get back involved with them. So Because I know that they have a great um, program when it comes to getting um, employers Yep. to, and I was thinking maybe that might have been an avenue to do, and you, you know, you guys have better ways, but getting something like they did, they would get their employees, let their employees have so much time. Absolutely. And as it was part of their, you know, community engagement. Yeah, we're always looking to, to have some of the businesses, some of the local businesses like Excel Electric, they actually come and volunteer their time to support the kids wow. and actually do activities. I think we've done some dodgeball with them in the gym, but just some ways they can get to know the kids a little bit better and spend time and, and be those mentors and help guide those kids. And they, they help support some of our programs that we do for those kids to send them to Chicago as well. And we've just 
had uh, businesses like Excel who've helped us out along the way to, to make sure these kids are getting so much yeah. um, of the support they need. Absolutely. What about like the, uh, and we reach out to churches for, because I want that achievers program to work. I oh, really yeah. want that yeah. to go. Yeah. But so you, I know I'd hate to have kids wait um, because I realize how much and Will understands as having mentors themselves. The church, you know, because this is a very religious area, if yeah. you, as the churches, is, is that an avenue to get mentors? Yeah, absolutely. Going in and speaking in front of the churches. <laughs> Absolutely, yeah. We've talked to a lot of the um, schools in the area as well. Two churches are another avenue that we can go and find. There's ways to get more support and uh, guidance for volunteers. Um, and there are a lot of volunteer groups that we've got meaningful work for them. They want to get involved, and once they hear a little bit more about the program, it's it's usually an exciting piece to get them connected with. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah. cool. I have one more question too, Kevin. Um, I know I asked you this two years ago, so I'll be interested to see if there's a different answer. What is your favorite part about working at the YMCA? Um, wow. I know two years ago, you know, your answer was, that answer two the answer years was uh, that you like to help people get the memberships. If they're not able to, you yeah. can put together different programs and everything. Is that is that yeah. still your favorite part? Yeah, the thing that I do love is just our mission, which is to, to strengthen the foundations of our community. Through yeah. development, healthy living, social responsibility. We're really looking at those three pillars more than anything of how we can do this. So if we can get people involved who typically would walk through the door and not think they'd be able to be a member of the YMCA, but whether it's a financial issue or any other challenges they're having in their lives, we want to help make sure that they can still be uh, a part of the YMCA in any capacity that they want to be involved in. So we've got swim lessons for kids, we've got some great programs to really help make sure that our kids are switch safer on the water. It's especially important as we're coming up on these summer months here, so that's the, that's the challenge of making sure everybody's safe more than anything, but also um, our after school programs, helping our elementary age kids as well to learn and grow, and we actually uh, have some preschool programming that we do as well too to help kids learn how to get a little bit more prepared for kindergarten. Oh, wow. Yeah, no, so it's, it's, it's amazing when you get there. Okay, so now we have the after school program, now let's go into how do we fund this, yeah. and let's get into yeah. the, the, the event that's coming up in July, so I want you yeah. to share that. The, yeah. the, uh, it's the celebrating Buck it, the yeah. Buck Three Crown, yeah. celebrating its 45 years. Wow, that's older yeah. than me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I can't say that about myself. Uh, you know, <laughs> yeah, yeah. But no, that, that event is coming up. It's been a huge staple of the Granville's 4th of July weekend over mm -hmm. the years, and we're very excited to, to have the 45th year of this run. Um, it's a 5K run. It's also a walk as well, too. Cool. So we're making sure it's uh, available to as many people as who want to get involved. But events like these help support the program and really make sure that we're able to offer um, the guidance for these kids and making sure that they're getting a lot of different experiences to, to get what they need to be successful. But the run's coming up. It's June 30th, 8 a.m., okay. and it's at Granville Middle School. Uh, we're very excited to, to have the run come through once again through the Granville community. We're always keeping our fingers crossed for a beautiful weather mm -hmm. day. And, uh, yeah. It is. Uh, it was a beautiful day last year. I ran it. I, I, yeah. I, I my very first 5K. You did great. Nice. I made the, I made it all the way. As there I told Kevin was there, you know, but I, I didn't think I thought I was gonna have to stop. So I said to people, if I just make it that first mile, and that's where volunteers come in. Uh, if it wasn't for the volunteers that were cheering me on. You can Give keep going water. in, yeah. and then the, and then every half mile there was a bunch of volunteers. Yeah. And then the last one, I was so happy um, to see Dixie at the gate. Yeah, yeah, she yeah no, and she's That's been awesome. part of the YMCA, I don't know, 20 years? Since it began. Wow. Yeah, and she, and yep. Dixie is a, their exercise but um, instructor. She oversees yep. their yep. exercise she's program. Their instructor. Yep. And when I saw her, and I, I looked at her, and she goes, you can make it. I go, well, do I have to go? I, we met at the track, right? Yeah. You only have to go halfway around. I'm like, oh, only halfway, thank God. And I made it through. But it, it wasn't. I can't tell you the feeling, and you, you being a runner yourself, couldn't tell you what that felt like to, to accomplish something like that. And what I felt, I felt like I could do another, I, I was ready to do something else when I got done. I got home, I'm like, what else can I do? What else can I do? You know what I mean? It was, I never understood that runner's endorphin. Absolutely. Do yeah. you understand that? Oh, yeah. Runner's yeah. good. And I feel like you. Get, I feel like anybody's got to experience that once. And I wouldn't call it was a run; it was more of a jog. Mm -hmm. But at least if you kept the pace, right? That's awesome. And do you run a ticket, or do you? Do you run I haven't. I'm usually pretty busy on that day, <laughs> but I'm going to get into five k one of these. Days. That's awesome. Yeah, that's awesome. But your kids are still young yet. But we'll get your kids involved, they, right? Uh, they can probably pull off a five k right now. The way the energy is for them. So yeah, absolutely. And so, how can people? Uh, what are you looking for now for having a uh, successful? I know we. 
We spoke with, uh, like I said, we had lunch with Shelly Irwin to help promote this. What else can we do um, in the community to get yeah. this successful yeah. with um Yeah, help sponsor. spread the word, make sure that we get out. We think we're going to have some success this year because 4th of July is on a Wednesday this year. Yeah. So everybody who's going on those trips, do it on that second half of the weekend yeah. there as yeah. well, too. Yeah. Stay that first weekend, um, July, or June 30th. It's uh, not too far away, so no, please come get signed not. up. You can go to the uh, our website and get signed up, and we'll get you ready to roll. Okay, and awesome. you still could use sponsors? We absolutely can use sponsors. Yep, we've got a lot of things to, a lot of opportunities for people and businesses to get involved with sponsoring the Y. Uh, we want to thank First United Credit Union for once again sponsoring our event. They are a yeah. total sponsor for us. Cool. Um, great, yeah. So we are very excited for them. Um, other ways to get involved though as well to like send those volunteers on the course. And uh, we actually have some training runs that Striders. Oh, cool. Right up the street on Chicago Drive. Jeff, Josh. You've got it. Jeff's been a great supporter for us. Yes. He and Eric Zane. Mm -hmm. Yep, him and Eric are actually, uh, Eric Zane, they're doing our. Okay. Uh, training runs throughout the uh, wow. next few weeks, all the way building up to the event. Yeah, and then it starts what? Starting next week? Those are, yeah, okay, next week. 16th or uh, what is it? 14th, I believe. The 14th? Is that okay. So, yeah. Right and yeah. that will be at the, uh, actually at Striders here in Chicago. Very cool. Uh, Chicago Drive. <laughs> Very cool. That's amazing. Yeah, well, hey, I appreciate you coming on the um, Grand Tap Media Show. Is there anything else you'd like to add? No, I want to thank you both for your time. Very excited about this venture. I'm glad mm -hmm. I could help out. We're, we're very excited about uh, working with you as always. Yeah, awesome. we're, we're excited about it. And I think that um, we have, you know, we, we want to kind of, um, you know, go into a little bit more of that. I know you've we've yeah. shared some things at the, um, at the meetings and stuff. But basically what we've created this is to connect with the community, community in a whole because I think that we, we are lacking that neighbor feeling that we used to have. I grew up knowing my neighbors, everybody's very busy with their families and activities and we've kind of lost um, time, maybe, or just even, you know, everybody's goals, it's so busy and you don't want to disrupt your neighbor for doing what they need to get done when they get home, right? Yeah. Busy families, you have a busy family. You grew up in a kind of a busy family. And so what we're beginning to realize that when people feel more connected and feel like people care about them, and that's what we want to create here, but to let people know that we are now your neighbors. I mean, social media, people that are on social media are neighbors, and so that's why we want to connect people with people in your neighborhood that you may not even know about. And yeah. the more people that we know, kind of that small town feeling, and I would like, everybody knows about me, I love Hallmark, that feeling that, you know, people care. And that everybody knew the baker and the, the mechanic, the librarian, the librarian, or the restaurant people, the florist. And yeah. that, that's why those, those shows are so popular, because everybody wants to be able to go into town and feel that, correct? I mean, you would like that, you would like that. I think everybody Have your would. kids would grow up that. And that's what we're trying to create here at Grand Tap Media. And the reason we put Grand, of course, Grand Rapids, and then the, um, the castle that's coming up, which uh, we really appreciate that, Roger Lucas, about that. We want to hear more about that. And of course, TAP, well, that just goes without saying it's Western Michigan, and we're, we're kind of the grand, well, Beer craft City, beer. USA. Beer City, USA, and then media. And we also want people to tap in. And we want to, to tap media. into what's going on. So that's what we want to share with you in the future episodes. It's going to be a great endeavor. I think Will wait. brings a lot with his Battle of the Gains. You can hear more of that. And then, of course, community leaders and people that are involved with the community, like um, like Kevin, and then me. I just kind of like I just like connecting people, and I just like getting to know You're people and find out yeah. exactly and teach people what I know, and you know, and share with a little bit of wisdom along the way. Does that sound good? I cannot wait. Yeah. Okay, let's okay. make it happen. Appreciate you guys right. for watching. Yep. Take care. My name is Pamela Kime. Will all our mates. And Kevin Myers. We'll catch you next time. We just want you to know, and this is the one thing we do want to say, right? Everything's going to be okay. Why? Because we are your neighbors. Take care. Bye.